So guys, and today I just thought I'd like to show you how I fill the bird feeder. It's empty again. So I'm gonna show you how, to, how you do it. You take, well, you have to fill about 190 grams of sunflower seed. So like I say, you just you just get 190. You just you know you just. If you make it out, that's alright. As long as it's outside, birds can still pack off these stray ones and all. So you sort of want to get a sort of mix, but you want it so that so it's a some yeah, yeah, it's good to mix them. And you get a bit of a bit of seed, and I have a few fat balls. But you have to put them in a bit of particular see suey balls now before you say anything yes this bird feeder is recommended by the by the britain's lead by britain's leading wild bird research organization i wouldn't have bought if it wasn't british british trust for orphanology orphanology or oh, however you Orphologist. Orphology. Orphology. Okay, so, and then you just yeah. So you just get a, a sort of a mix, but you want to have more of the wild of the birds of the seed on the sunflower seed. You want to get more of the wild bird seed. Uh, like I would show you, I can show you. I think um, the bag I use. Of, this is a Verve Wild Birds seed mix. It's a nutritious plant piece, about two kilograms. You have to wash your hands so after contact with the bird seed. Of course, for hygienic, hygienic reasons. And yeah, that's it. You know, doesn't have an extremely high energy level. But, you know, fair enough. And like I said, you know, get it from B and Q because they're good. Yeah, that that's this these the type of birds that attracts oh, house sparrows, great great tits, blue tits, blackbirds, bullfinches, chaffinches, tree sparrows, green finches and robins. Phew, that's a lot. That's true. That's a lot. And then and then you then you just get a bit more of the bird seed again. And you just get a few more sunflower seeds. Once you can fill it up to the top, you know you, you don't you, you know just have to make it. See, that's good. Won't even close. No, you see that's how much. That's, and that's actually a good thing. So yeah, this has been me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my name, me, uh, Chumo Ulama, showing you how, what I do with my bird feeding. Show you how I set it now. Just a little bit. You switch this. Alright, sort of, yep, it's going in, yep, it's in. Yes, uh, some force it's done. And that's it. Right. Right, here's the bird feeder. Gardening. Ah, uh, yeah, you saw that. You know, being q is very good, if you want. So, yes. So. Again, like I said, very good. Fantastic. This is the bird feeder. Just so that you see, there's the fat balls. That's where I keep it. It's a piece of string. It doesn't really work. That's why I'm going to get a, you know, a fat ball feeder, a sweet but sweet, sweet ball feeder in for the birds. So yeah, you, I just I just hang mine on a branch, on the on the in the hedge. So that's about it. This has been me, Chumo Lamo, 
show, just showing you how I, what I do and how I feed the birds. Every, I do this every day and I, I enjoy it. This is what I, if you want to bring birds to your bring your garden to life. This is it. It's great for anyone but anyone want to be bird watcher, you know. So yeah, that's just been me. Chumo Lamo with uh, what I do. How I feed my birds. Thank you for watching.